one. Yeah. You've just... Excellent. And drama. Sorry, action. I got it. <laughs> I made some you, assumptions. You just if you want to move it back, that's fine. Okay, okay cool. three, two, one. All right, everyone. Cheers. 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 Come oh, on. Here's to that noise that these two... Come on, get in there. All right. Oh, God, I hate that. Oh, that's oh. not good. <laughs> oh, Scorch. Yeah. Okay, welcome to the podcast. This is the first podcast on International Women's Day. We're only going to have one a year on International Women's Day every year. Only one. Uh, However, we may do others at other times of the year, <laughs> unrelated to. So I'm Dylan college. Mitchell. I'm Tia Salad. I'm Ethan Bolch. I'm Tali Hyatt. And I am Thomas Stewart Blackman Bishop. Okay. Oh, we oh we're to. doing. You had to go there. Right. Uh, 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 I'm right. Matthias James Cornelius Arthur. Atomus we don't have Salah. enough tape for this. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so you guys might have noticed uh, that I actually did choose the set specifically for today. This lovely a uh, white tablecloth and my gold T-shirt. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I wasn't no. sure I could, Hashtag the dress. I would I wasn't sure I Can could I pull off a white dress <laughs> with a uh, uh, black and blue striped shirt. But I must but, my gold shirt just works wonders here. Yeah. Okay. I'm the only really one living under a rock during that thing. <laughs> but your black top is amazing. Oh thanks, man. It suits you. Nice and name. it is really nice to see that we can milk a joke until it's well and truly dead in Well the by the time this video goes up, no one will remember what hashtag the dress means, except that one guy who got a face tattoo or whatever it was. Wait, there was an actual hashtag? Yeah. That was an actual face tattoo? Well no, it was an art tattoo, it was a lie. But uh, Oh okay. my god. Yeah, some guy got a tattoo of the dress on his arm. I'm not surprised by this. <laughs> Humanity is endlessly disappointing. So, you may, <laughs> you may be wondering why I didn't let you eat the chips. It is true. Yeah, what I was we have in front of us, if you dare, I know is habanero pepper chips. Oh, son of a... Oh, they These, are nice. They are delicious. If you, if you want to try them, then have a couple at once. Are they really, really, yeah, that, really that's what? Yeah. So is this like wait, wait. the Doritos, but okay. roulette chips? Keep in mind, we don't have chips. any milk on the podcast, so if no, you... That's cool. <laughs> hey, have you heard about the roulette chips? Yes. All right, so yeah, no, no, of course you have. Yeah, have you guys heard about the roulette chips? Oh, wow. These are exciting. I don't and know. And now we wait. <laughs> All right. But I, explain to us the roulette chips. The roulette chips are basically Doritos brought out roulette chips, and one of those chips in the packet <laughs> is a really, really spicy chip. And mine was tell? broken, so I wasn't no. very happy about However, it. However, I found that they're not, that's not true at all. Because what happens is they put regular, you know, um, nacho cheese on the rest of them. <coughs> Except for one of them is spicy. But that's not true at all. Wait, what happens is, is the spice ends yeah. up covering all of the chips. So you're just yeah. sitting there eating mediocrely spicy chips. They are delicious. And then you get but one above average spicy chip. Oh, oh, yeah. So yeah. these ones, you generally... I, I had a couple earlier while I was playing Red Theft Auto. I have a condition. And, like, <laughs> after about a minute, I was like, I couldn't stop coughing. I, like, had to get some coke and stuff. I already uh, feel like that. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I, I did warn you. Have yeah. an flavored chips. But I like I'll, I'll, like uh, I'll try and post the picture of the, the packet on the... Also, because Doritos are freaking Okay, so we ch we've each got a topic that we want to talk about amongst ourselves. <laughs> I would like to talk about the wage gap. Alright. Oh my I god. Saw a, <laughs> I saw an article the other day <laughs> on Facebook, where else? Where do we get our news? So, I saw this article that said, Tony Abbott, you've done it again. Ooh. And it was... The wage gap has increased to 18% from 17.5% during Tony Abbott's reign, <laughs> I guess you would say. Uh, I assume here we're spelling rain, R-A-I-N. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> so, I had a look at the report, and there was, it was just, that was the only information they had was women's salaries and men's salaries. There was no industry specific. So I went into the, the industry specific link on this report and mining was like four, almost 40% higher, the average wage, than it's hitting you now. <laughs> You're gonna start crying and let's get a towel. And... Is this the wage gap is so important? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about so right. It bugged me that the media does this, still does this. That do this, the media do this, plural now. Come on, man. And this is our linguist. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it bugged me that uh, that th we're representing this giant wage gap in and and obviously a mining industry which is heavily male, you know, 
dominated. Mm -hmm. The wage gap is, of course, you know, they got hazard pay and oh, Matt, plus miners the, earn ridiculous amounts of money. I lived in Newcastle, and we lived with the miners there. That was just obscene amounts of people there. That was miners, M-I-N-O-R-S. Exactly. Yeah, they were just the kids of rich kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, we know these people working in the coal mines up there, and they inevitably had more money than you could ever possibly have. I was military personnel at the time, and so I was. He's a hero. <laughs> he was a jerk, but then we gave him a gun, and now he's a hero. <laughs> But no, I was, I was earning a good wage, a decent wage, and these people were earning easily twice what they were, you know, earning 120 a year plus. It's obscene how much they earn. Well, You're yeah, well, it was like... What are the women earning though? Well, I, I've never met a male... I'm sorry, right, I've, I've never that met that a female women. miner. I mean, a miner, but not a miner. <laughs> a person working in the mines, this is gonna I have never YouTube. met a female one of those. Um, so... I don't know, like, and what if you're, if you work as an admin assistant for a mining company, are you still in the mining industry? Oh wait, so yes. like, can, yes. I, yes. can I clear this up? And what you are seeing here mm. is that the, the gender disparity in income could have something to do with the fact that with the society, the only state we're living in, uh, suggests that we get extra pay for if we have dangerous jobs, and because all the dangerous jobs are given to men, men are getting higher level pay. Permission to make an addendum here? Before oh, we wait. get posted <laughs> on the red pill as proving all of their theories, here is, he's really a, implying here that he's, that this affects the numbers, not that it is the sole cause. Well, my, my issue here was, after having a fucking ridiculously long conversation with a, a girl who felt quite strongly about the wage gap. Oh yeah, that was fun. Uh, uh, anyway, that, uh, that we can't really, I, I, at this point in time, it's kind of impossible to measure unless you do it on a one by one basis. Mm. Like, but so, oh, but, yes. oh. <laughs> and I, I actually came up with a solution. So my solution for the wage gap is complete wage transparency. So. Everyone knows what you make, you know what everyone else makes, and you know what the person next to you makes. So if there is a, a gap between you and the person next to you, you can go to your manager or your HR representative and say, why does this gap exist? And they can say, because they've been in the, in the job three years longer. If they don't have a decent you know, reason, then you've got a claim for work Ombudsman and whatever, whoever they are. I that's had, not going to go down well with the cultural. Um, that, yeah, well, that, that's, that's, we need to destroy yeah. that like, cultural. We need to remove the yeah. idea that talking about money is vulgar. Yeah, yeah, it's not. But but you can't do that in different cultures. Like different cultures, like money, what you earn is like highly. It's like it's like your blood. Like that, you can't just tell what your blood is. I'm okay with public blood. Something. I'll have. I will happily publicize my blood. It's yeah. red. <laughs> Uh, it's Tide. really Blood sticky Tide. Sorry, when it's starts I think I might be O positive. I have no idea. I'm not, I'm not. I have been no O oh, negative. Yeah, 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 I am. I yeah. currently, I, I am red and slightly sticky, but yeah. You, you, do you notice that, like, all right, I've been drinking. This is my third glass of wine. complexion, Tom. <laughs> yeah, he's you, he's gone red from three or four glasses of wine. And I've the had, chili chips. Oh yeah. The chili yeah. chips are right. Yeah. I had two glasses of wine well, and I was I was like yeah. going red. But then if I drink pretty much anything else, I don't. My cheeks don't flush or any of that stuff. Well, no, I have I've a had like problem. two sips and my cheeks are like. Broom. Yeah, no. Yeah, you I, can't tell. I, I bet the camera can't even tell. You can tell starts off like this. <laughs> where when I was very young, I was held underwater by a small child in Sydney. Really? And a so small it first child beat you. I was also Sorry. a small child. I was oh. also a small child. Oh, I was yeah. one point. <laughs> okay, okay. So not now that he's like at top. least five, six children. Stop <laughs> this. <laughs> 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 That reminds me of the time I saw someone try to mug you the other day. Uh, by, by someone, I mean eight or nine, ten-year-olds, but still. Hey, listen, if you add up their numbers, that means it's a very elderly gentleman. It's like, <laughs> still not excusable. I this man you, beat up a 90-year-old. In numbers. <coughs> in numbers. Yeah. By which I mean he really? used numbers to he beat was... up one nine-year-old. It was just a cricket bat with like five, six, seven, eight written on it. Just dumping him. Note to self, get a crooked bat with five, six, seven, eight written on it. Yeah. <laughs> Defeated by numbers. That's just my life. Oh, I'm not very good at maths. I'm not. Movie voice. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. I, so, I, no, 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 wait, we're talking about the, the, the disparity between incomes here. Yeah. Right? It's true. I know that there is a, there is a problem there. there there's a, the, 
the, the often lauded answer of, you know, women earn 75, uh, 75 cents to every male dollar. And do keep in mind here, these are American dollars. But do they? Yeah, uh, well, wait, yeah, no, wait, what? That's actually what they came out with, was that that number was brought up to argue for a, um, uh, for maternity pay. Because a lot of women have two problems going for them. One, when they go into an industry, they go, I, I may want children, and they're less likely to get hired. The second part is that because they take time off, that number of 75 to the dollar is made up over their career, not per hour. Which I'd like to be able to back up. Which I'd like to go, oh, you know, that's, come on, come on Talia, you're not really earning less than, we're both earning dollar for dollar. But no, I had a friend, right, who was working for a major Australian telecom organization. Wait, wait, just pause that for a second. Could you uh, say your name for the camera again? Tali. My name is Tali. Talia. I've just been drinking. I'm going to call you uh, Talia. I'm going to call you Simon. Excellent. It's a good name. I like Simon. Wait, is your name actually Simon? I've already forgotten. It Sorry. could be. <laughs> See, exactly. That's my problem. These guys met tonight. Yeah. 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 So, so they uh, know each other the whole life. We are watching them fall in love in front of the camera. Might I add, oh. Tom's engaged. Tali's with Simon. With Some Simon. Kind, yeah. She's with, she's with a real Simon. You know, oh, one with mind control powers and everything. <laughs> Does Simon have control powers now? Okay. That's the assumption I make of all people. Then I Simon. retract my statement of calling you Simon. Yeah, I don't know. So, uh, the point of the matter is... <laughs> no, no. And so, they're working at, they're working at this, this uh, institute, uh, which is a major international telecom organization that's not Optus. And they are earning more than their female counterparts. So they didn't talk about it. They were just doing calls, you know, hey, you know, uh, your phone's not working. Have you tried turning it on and off again? And they got to talking about it, she's like, ah, oh, I don't have money to go drinking with us after work. Turns out that was because she was earning 75 cents to the dollar. Now you think an organization in Australia, right, because we do not have the same sort of market responses that America does. And a major previously government owned company wouldn't pull this sort of rubbish. No, but, we would assume not. But there we are, like it does happen. And it, that's, well, that's really this, hard for me, being, this, being a man and being like, Whatever I do, as a white straight male, I have an upper hand on pretty much anything I want to do, career or whatever. Except my small children, I they would, beat you up. My <laughs> words, they, they, will, they will drown you, man. I would really like to pose the exception here is that while many of these jobs are higher paying for men, mm. remember that getting an entry level job and working your way up can be harder. I remember a lot of customer service jobs I've had, you know, they've, they've gone... Um, they've gone through the hiring process, and a lot more of the jobs have gone to women. See, I've, I've heard the opposite. Like, especially yeah. from people in the industry, I've heard that uh, that getting from level one to level two is is infinitely harder. And no, no. Women have seen men be promoted, like... I agree. Yeah, really? No, no, no. That's not the part I'm saying. I'm saying that getting the level one job can be harder as a man, because... Generally, these level one jobs are also the more public jobs. They're the jobs that people see more often. They're the jobs that are. So you say people like to talk to women more than men? Yeah. <laughs> well, I find I like to talk to women more than men. Yeah. You see, I find I like to talk to men more than women. You yeah, yeah, I reckon, sexy I reckon, I reckon yeah. in the games yeah, industry, I reckon like, like, well, I can't. EB and JB and whoever else sells games in Australia, uh, I reckon that that if you, you have that's all of them. You know, <laughs> wait, what am I? Game went up. Wacron, right? Wacron is on. No, Dungeon that's a guy. So if you have two X chromosomes, yeah. Yeah. then I, you are instantly like much more desirable. Might I say, oh, so just, just quickly, we as a Take group, that, we as a group are aware that that the average male has forty six. No, that the average female has forty six X chromosomes, and that the average for, uh, male has forty five. The common is called oh, X Y and X English. Yeah, yeah, but every other yeah, chromosome okay, is an so X chromosome. You know, I didn't get this. I didn't get this. You can't tell me what genetics female. I know. As much That's as this is I interesting, <laughs> I wonder if this is actually like hearable because we're all talking over each other. We are, we are. And I was eating chips. Before. Audible. Shut up. So oh what I'd like to do is I'd like to take this a step back. As much as you can talk about. You were going to do that anyway. Right? Well, sure. I would like to. I'd like to talk about dogs. And the question I have here is that most people love dogs, but we could all understand they could be better. And so what? I'd like to go around Don't the circle. Oh. What? Let, let him go. Let him go. Okay. Let him go. Okay. Let him go. Okay. Before I like. They could Whoa. shoot lasers <laughs> when intruders attack your home. Okay. That would be better, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll start with Tali. Tali. 
If you have, you have a dog. Do you have a dog? No, I have a cat. Oh. If you oh, had a dog, how it's would you okay. improve that dog? You can how do anything I... you want, any way. He would talk. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. That's he would a way talk. he could be better. But he can. But dogs can talk in their and communicate in their own little way. That's that's Which that's adorable very and totally <laughs> way more cute than other people. But, but I hate people. That. <laughs> the question I have with this is, if it's... your dog could talk, right? Let's pause that dog, okay? Um, I, I, actually, I'm gonna go with Tears here. Tears, I know he has two dogs, right? Tears, Chester and Bayo. Beowulf right. is the family dog, Chester is... Like, complicated. If he you, is, if Chester could my talk, boy. what would Chester sound like? And there's my problem with it, is, is like, talking sounds great. It really does, because I'd like to be able but to... But everyone's like, they give up, and they'll be like... It's alright! Right. Everyone has a voice for their dogs as well, because like, people... <laughs> Who own dogs yeah. tend to like if they want to talk to their dog, they will ge generally make up a voice for the. Like my cousin had a whippet, and um, <laughs> and <laughs> and her dogs. female whippet sounded like a wob, a wob <laughs> an elderly wob chick. So she was like, uh, "Hi, cheeky, how you doing?" She's like, "Oh, my dog does sound pretty good. I wish I could get myself some uh, kibbles and beans, yes." <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm like, "What?" How did you even get the? How did you give such a such a specific cultural identity? No, that? that's that's not fair. Because <laughs> Bayo has, has a specific cultural yeah. identity. Yeah. So yeah. you think Bayo would be like, "How are you doing, everybody? It's good to see you." No, no, no. who is not? Beowulf. If I'm, get you down from the door. If I may uh, quote my sister, who was <laughs> given the the most extensive and couldn't be here tonight, um, culture, you know, voice to the dog. It's Hi guys! Can I help you with setting up your wireless router? <laughs> <laughs> Not the first time those words have been uttered in the Bayo voice. No, <laughs> <laughs> he's not trying to set up a wireless router. That's because he wants to help you. That's such a he's just to help you. <coughs> help you. Hello there, can I help you? Most of the voices I've heard have been quite whiny for dogs. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's true. Like, like you just said, hi guys. Yeah, you, you, you are aware, way. however, of Chester's voice. Chester's Chester's own <laughs> one and only impression has been the words, give it to me. <laughs> give, uh, give me the treat. Why? <laughs> why me. is he Italian? That's my question to you. He's I, he's not Italian. See, I reckon, he's just very serious. <laughs> the voice I would give to Chester would be like. Hey, it's good to see you. How are you doing? It's good to really good to be here. I, I, I love everything. I love to yes. jump up and down and bite your fucking ankles. Like. Okay, so if you bite ankles, yes. Scary. If you could, would if you could, if you could improve dogs, he's a improve. If I could improve, I don't know, make them smarter, just in general. Like maybe they could talk. Maybe they could, you know, like perform tricks that didn't seem ridiculous when you actually watch them and go, oh yeah, great, the dogs do oh, backflips and jump into a of flame. But you know, like sitting at a typewriter and going, well, yeah, I think this is a good story. You have a good point there. Like dogs, they shake it. Like what's it? Dog tricks, right? Uh, did you I can do a backflip! What are they? What are they? Guys, I can do a backflip! Uh, we're probably gonna have to wrap this one up. Mine would be just make them clean up their own shit. <laughs> Sweet. That's all so you So is that smart enough? Would I would like that with cats as well, good. like cleaning up their own kitty litter, because that's. Oh, spew! Oh, worse. wait! No, yeah. My cat just. We'll get it. And you know how cats, like, bury their own poop? Oh yeah. 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 They're, they're little poop. No, my cat doesn't like, do that. Hey, no, no, no. My cat does not. <laughs> like do my that. cat, will, if, Mr. President, goes to the edge of the box and then puts his foot outside the kitty litter tray and goes. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, what are you doing, Eris? And he's like, <laughs> don't talk to me. I'm covering my shit with the imaginary kitty litter. Yeah. Yeah. Tears, your improvement. Uh, my improvement on Chester. Two things. One, the ability to poop dark matter. Let's let's. What? Let's <laughs> Let's face it, if there's one thing about Nimble we want dogs to be able to do... What are you going to do with the dark matter, man? What are you going to do with it? It's starship fuel, man. Do you have a starship? I'm going to go to Mars. To be fair, if he could poop dark matter, that would make it infinitely easier to research. That's true. I'll give you that. Yes. Are you holding out on us? If you're going to poop out dark matter and you have a spaceship, just can use... Hey, quiet on set! Yeah. All right, uh, and the uh, the second change, and this is not uh, this is not. I don't want him to be able to talk. I don't want <laughs> him to be able to project his thoughts into my, into the mind of minds of others. I want his thoughts to be accessible telepathically by other minds. <laughs> I, okay. I just want to be able to say, "Hey, so you want to hey, you hey, hey, hey Chester, Chester, what, are you, what 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 is going on? What is this?" Uh, so what would like all right to elaborate on that? Would it be okay? If 
a giant speech bubble appeared over his head every time he asked him a question. Yes. Actually, I retract, what if that giant speech bubble could like cut people's legs off? Okay. What? Oh, yeah. no. retract, it's too deep. It's too sharp. I retract it. Sorry, Wait, sorry, darling. Wait, 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 shut up, shut up. All of you, shut up. I, oh. I retract it because my cat watches me shower, and I think that's creepy. Yeah. 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 No, exactly. <laughs> that's my problem. Everyone's I've like, I want do. my cat to be smarter, 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 or communicative. Yeah. No, no. Like, my cat comes and walks in, right? And I am doing unseemly things with my mm. fiance, mm. and I don't want to have the conversation yeah. later, being like. Okay, so you can't come yeah. in, you can't talk to us. Yeah. Like, you can't just sit on the bed and stare. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's and not then okay. everything has to stare. Yeah. Yeah. You're, basically <laughs> saying, you're basically saying you don't want a really hairy housemate. Yeah, yeah. Well, I already had but a really like, hairy housemate. Oh, yeah, I remember Tom. What happened to other Tom? Yeah, he's gone to Europe. Wait, did you live with a Tom? Is your name Tom? My name's Tom. Oh. And I lived with a Tom. It was a long story. That's Welcome. We have two Jessies now. I shared an enchilada with that. I've only met one of those Jessies. Okay. So what's Charlie's topic? My topic? Oh, we're going this way now. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because um, he, jo- he just hijacked the whole conversation. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. yeah was, by happened. the way, by the way, one was person some talking at a time. Okay. And if you're going to interrupt, then oh, one person interrupts. Do you have a feeling stick? No. Okay, well, a feeling I will stick? bring one uh, next time. Do you mean a conch? Do you even go to this school? Charlie, <laughs> <laughs> do you mean a conch? I don't know what a conch is. A conch, so the person who's holding the conch gets to talk. Yes. Lord okay. of Flies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I've never seen that. It's another story. Oh, oh, anyway, my topic, my topic. Yeah. My topic is um, basically around homophobia. What's that? Um, I'm not going to explain that. Okay, look on. That's just... Because okay, Mardi Gras is on right now. Mardi Gras is on right now, yeah. Well, how topical. You mean Moomba? And Moomba no, is on. Is it a similar thing? <laughs> One of them's in Sydney, the other's in Melbourne. We're in Melbourne! Hi, yeah. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. um, so mine is basically there's um, a segregated. Well, it's not segregated, but they're separate opening, but equal. Separate but equal. But there's schools that are opening for just gay and lesbian, LGBTI. These said better be or, secondary schools because um, yes, because the idea of a gay secondary school blows my no sorry a gay primary, primary school <laughs> blows my mind hole. One but of my why? friends at one of my friends at uni. He is is a gay man, Bruce. And he knew he was gay at five years old. Yeah. And and okay. so on that note, he is now going to your note and your note. You hit the same note on some keyboards. <laughs> but the idea of of a child who knows they are gay at a, at a very young age is not impossible. It is unusual. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. And the idea that you have is enough students to fill a gay primary school. So, we have enough students to fill a Christian primary school. Let me give you some facts. Sorry, let me give you some oh. facts, okay? Right. I'll give you some facts. So, there's, there's, there has been a school opened in New York um, for purely for gay... High school students. students? High school. Yeah. High school. And it's a privately funded school. So, you have to have the money, one, to go there. And it's not exclusively gay, it's inclusive. You can send your straight child to a gay high school. Yes. So, so where you're saying, would have gone to you're high saying school. that so, they're saying where I would have gone to high school. They're saying that it's a gay, lesbian, exclusive, wide, like, like high school. But if you're not gay, you can come here, sure. As long as you're so, inclusive, it's about the education. Oh, so, okay. why put that label on? Another fact no, is, so can I just say? The reason, wait, the reason that they're doing this is because um, six, six times more likely that um, LGBTI students are not going to go to school and are going to try and commit suicide. Um, and that is due to the bullying, the harassment, right. and oh the, you know, there's, there's the statistics are quite, can never say that word. <laughs> statistics. Yes, yeah, that's it. For those Thank watching you. at home. <laughs> um, uh, quite, you know, it's graphic. It's it's quite intense on what how, what we're facing, and the reason why they're doing this is because they're wanting to include people that would otherwise not get an education because of the bullying. Yeah. Okay. I mean, However, if, I, if I changed that statistic and said children or youths that have been victim to bullying at a lo- at a at a serious level would be, and I would say I, I would. Yes, I would put it to you that it would be more than six times more likely because that's complete, like inclusive of LGBT uh, nerds, uh, freaks, guys. You do your freaking geeks high. Yeah, and basically I'm saying that if you're bullied, you're more likely to commit suicide. Mm. Like, yes, I don't oh, think- definitely, definitely. Like, 
Yeah, yeah it's a suicide is an external thing most often. Yeah. I don't yeah. think that you need to, to individualize these groups. You're like, I think that by segregating and labeling things, you inherently make the system more biased towards certain. Yeah, no, I mean, that's definitely something I agree with. Is that whole like, we have this idea and um, where. You know, that is their words for things, that's their language. Oh you know, you can't talk to them about those things. And we all that does is generate a, a, a apartheid. Yeah. Right? You don't want to throw it down there, but apartheid, that's what you're talking about here. And we could have a world where, you know, the gays and lesbians were never abused. And hey, Rob! Sorry, I'm interrupting his rant, but. Can you tell us how long we've got left on the shot, on the shoot? My feet? <laughs> I love that. Yeah. No, he's probably not going to cut this because minutes. it's hilarious. 25 <laughs> minutes? It's at 25 40. Oh, cool. We got heaps of time. Yeah. Wait, thank Wait you. is it going up? Or yeah. down? Yeah. Counting up. Yeah, there so there's my problem. This is time. So, okay. so we're running out of time. Okay, so that was a good topic. Well done. We all had stuff <laughs> to say. Except <laughs> Ethan. Yeah. I was, I was working my way up to something. Uh, <laughs> in fact, I'll just follow up. Tom said the high school where I would have gone to high school. Yes. Two reasons. One, a high school where the idea of theatre sports being competitive enough that I might not have made the team, sign me up. <laughs> Two, I would have gotten laid the exact same amount. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Oh, right. Right. Can I quickly throw in what I was thinking about? Go for it. Yeah. Go. Six years you're in high school, right? Yeah, yeah. You study the school for 12 years, yeah. long enough so that six full years of people can go through from beginning to six end. Six generations. Uh, in, yeah. in the US, no, high school is three years. Six generations? Like, in, in the US, high school is three years. But they're trying to do it in England as sure, well. Sure, whatever. They go in six years, you know. You whatever, know whatever, for this thought experiment, yeah, for this thought experiment, you go for two times the length of however long it takes to go through there. You study everything and check whether or not it's actually more or less likely that people are bullied. Do you think that people would be so You, will, you will send people there, like, no, I'm not saying send people there to have them tested on this sort of thing, but I'm like, just, just, you know, send them check, there check the numbers already. afterwards on whatever to see if it still does happen. I yeah, have an issue that I do not think. I'm not saying shut the school down If you had a school with people who were bullied all the time, right, so, new, new idea, instead of a lesbian uh, uh, gay high school, right? Le tea. Le No, no, right? Le <laughs> tea. I've got a pee. Alright, um, <laughs> high school, it is just a, what you call it, it is just, if you're bullied, you go to this high school. Yeah, in the end that's going to be just as much bullying as There will else. still be bullying. Yeah. We have the internet, right, the internet, full of nerds. Right, the nerds still this. bully people, because I'm more of a nerd than you are. No, no, uh, because it's ambiguous. Play, I know. Okay, we've only got about wow. two minutes left. Very embarrassing. And before we, like, I, like, before we, I appreciate this topic of conversation, but, the, one last thing time. that I wanted to do before we finish up, hopefully I'll have time. Uh, so, this is to all of you. If you... Say you met someone from the 15th century. So, 1400s. Or oh, was it a Viking? Right. No, that would uh, be 10th century. Oh, oh damn god. It. I'm horrible with history. So, yeah, say, you say, people, say probably the <laughs> Dark Ages. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You met someone from the 14th century. Right, and, uh, Correct me if I'm wrong. And they've asked you about... Ferris Bueller's Day Out. How do you explain to them Ferris Bueller's Day Out? May I go first? Sure. It is a moving picture that everyone except me has seen. <laughs> Good story. <Okay. laughs> Alright, so, how have you not seen that movie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, YouTube just exploded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are, there are just People dozens like of comments screen. being like, Oh my god, this guy hasn't seen Ferris Bueller's Day Out! Oh fuck, he had. Uh, Alright, he's already acknowledged 60 that. 60 seconds! Alright, you got 20 seconds, go! 20 seconds, cool! Uh, it's. The idea is that people sit down to watch these things so that you're like watching it on. Uh, not a movie, you know, on a screen. Ferris Bueller's Day Out. Yeah, That's I know. A movie. You sit down to watch it and you can, you know, experience someone else's life. This is the life of a guy who decides that he doesn't like his teaching place and he goes to have fun for a day! And it's awesome! And he's... Moon okay, cycle. You got you got 20 seconds, go. Hot guy. Hot Ooh. guy. Ooh. Um... Nice. Theater. Ooh. Hot guy. That's, Ooh. Uh, yeah, that's what I got. Oh, that was a good story. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, so Spade is in this movie. Yeah. So what these people are seeing oh. is three hot guys on, on a stage doing theater. Yeah. <laughs> that's basically... It's that's a story it. of a young it. man <laughs> rebelling against uh, what is considered normal by his elders.
Okay, I want to remind everyone that this portion of the podcast is brought to you by Tierce's Salty Nuts. Uh, they come in three different varieties, salty, extra salty, and unsalted. How are they Tierce's Salty Nuts? You'll find out. Alright. Also, so, al- also, extra salty have vinegar. They are just salty. Yeah. I mean, what? It's not okay, so, we've talked about oh. gays and women. <laughs> So, what's left? Oh, uh, quick, quick mention of the high school situation. I would have gone to that high school given half the chance. <laughs> I like that. Half, half the chance. So, I'm, I'm heterosexual here. Just the idea of a school where theatre sports were competitive, <laughs> sign me up. I would have gotten like, the I'm, exact same amount. I'm totally not gay, but... Yeah, see, I went through high school as a musician, so... I'm good either way. Wait, let's... Dylan, can I ask I you a question? I think it's a big generalization. Guys. Can I ask you a question here, Dylan? You went through school as a musician. Quite. Level of one to David Bowie. How much did you get laid during that time? You were a musician. Wait, wait. Uh, how much did David Bowie get laid? David, is he like a David two? Bowie like about? Two? Have you seen I'm David kidding. Bowie? Right. I'm joking. From <laughs> age wait, in high school, two is a lot. That's true. Yes. From age sixteen until the end of year twelve, uh, I would say. Everyone gauge your age 16 to the end of year 12. I would say go around. James Spader. Zero. What? One. What? Oh. Oh. I'm. I was on by. So. Yeah, I caught a little. So question. zero. I had. I had lots. Okay. <laughs> so you're pretty close. So James, James Spader. Spader. Oh, James Spader. Yeah. James Spader. Or Justin Timberlake. Zero or James Spader. <laughs> That's a few levels, but yeah. What? Yes. Yeah. I don't know, I can't remember names. And Harrison Ford. Although, what? <laughs> what? Okay, so, so you were, you're going through high school, wait, wait, you were bi? Or? I'm, I am bi. Oh, fantastic. But in high school, were you? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I was, I, I, I Always been? didn't really know, though, what I just was, I just was having sex with a lot of women. Right. <laughs> so, right. and I didn't yeah. have a label. Yeah. No, that's good, was that's like, great. It's like, it's yeah. like people are like, so you're bi? Sure. So, <laughs> to quickly... I, a lot, just, I mean a lot for, like, the teenager. Yeah, and so, just... <laughs> not like a hundred. <laughs> well, we have a musician there, so... Uh, well, a lot means... What, 20, so, 30 people? Just oh, quickly, no, no, no. just quickly, I need to sum up my definition of Zero here. I mean the character from... The character Zero from the bad, uh, Grand Budapest Hotel. Meaning that... N- no canonical example, but theoretically outside of the uh, events of the story. Right, that's what? good to know. Uh, oh, no, my number, my number <laughs> was two people. Cool, good enough. Let's move but on. Next topic. Wait, 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 wait. I had two people, but they were twins. So, so that counts as a million people. Well, no, no. Well, okay, no. Mm. Mm. You need to calm down, dude. Yes, but not at first. Have a dirty threesome. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, just, just quickly, have asked a million times, answer no every time, no matter how drunk he is. So, so you've been playing a lot of, a lot of Grand Theft Auto today? Me? Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto today because I bought it today. Yeah, I saw one that was That was quite an effort just to buy it. We had to go to two different places. Uh, yeah, that was entertaining. And, and get them to call and say, is your trading copy in? Uh, can you, can uh, I don't know why they're American. Less than than <laughs> Everyone's American when you so, now that you've actually tried Grand Theft Auto 5 on PlayStation 4, yeah. thoughts? Uh, it's prettier. I can kill people with more fidelity. More interest in killing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. What do you want me to say? <laughs> same thing as the same more fidelity. Although, it's the same pixel count. Although, yeah, I mean, I, I did. Is it? Decided to fly yeah. a plane upside down by accident and kill myself, <laughs> oh, but you know, that was this shit fun. just happens. <laughs> that was fun. That was Whereas ridiculous. I prefer to pe- play, uh, to play, fly a plane upside down. Well, granted, it's a VTOL, but in Grand, uh, in, in, in Grand Saints Row 3. Grand Saints Row 3. But that's, that's Grand the Old Saints, Saints Row, Row 3. Saints Row did start off, and like the first Saints Row, I don't know if you guys played it, I know Tears did. Oh, I played it. It was so like. Like yeah. trying to be Saints Row, but we're not really that very good. You mean and then they trying to be Grand Theft Auto, but we're not really that good? Yes. 
That is what he meant. Cool. That yes. is what he meant. Continue. <laughs> yeah, and, and they just it was a really crappy version of GTA. And they really agree. did find their It was not crappy. There was assassination missions. And it was and, buggy oh, as shit. Did they have like, the poo fleeing missions in no, Central that was, One? That, no, was that was two. two. That was two. Yeah. What the hell? They was, haven't played one or two. What is this? There was poo throwing <laughs> missions. There was missions where you were in a truck, which is like a septic van. And you get to, it was like you had to spray these buildings of an evil corporation called Altor uh, with poo to show how badass you were because video yes. games? Uh, uh, quick quick reminder, these, uh, that, that Sanctuary Run was about as buggy as a Destiny raid <laughs> and that you shouldn't be assuming that the, the, the gameplay was going to be particularly fluid so much as a slew of error codes. <laughs> a, a slew of feces? Oh, no, no, I, 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 same I, thing! I've learned the last 20 seconds that that's Sanctuary 2, you're wrong. Oh, snap! I'm learning. <laughs> you're a man of many talents. Oh, yeah. So, we all, we all, we, we're all gamers. Uh, are you, wait, Tully, are you a gamer? Well, thank I don't you know for you. asking. I don't know you. <laughs> thank you for asking I, the question I, I, we don't know. Yeah, I think I've been well. playing, I've been actually steering clear of um, computer games lately and I've been playing board games. Is that oh, I have oh, so oh, much time playing Transcending the media. <laughs> yeah, no, no, so, okay. so wait, 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 wait. Is that because you got hooked on Guild Wars 2? Um, it is actually because I got hooked on Descent. Uh, wait, wait, the Descent board, board game. The board game, Descent. This, wait, so it was a this is decision. the sound of me expressing my disappointment. Mm. Oh, what? So wait, I'm sorry, I'm not expressing my disappointment, but I love it. Is this the second edition Descent, or are you still playing old first edition Descent? Oh, uh, there's, no, se no, I don't know. the box? <laughs> okay, so I, it's... I'm playing, it's been like a year of playing this one game. Oh, okay, right. no, no, no. Okay, yeah. so for those playing at home, not literally playing at home, Descent has come in two editions. The first edition was a really long, like, 100-hour campaign board game. Oh, I remember. And, and for those of us that are here and who are learning this for the first time, we're also paying attention. Yeah, and so the second edition I managed to, like, uh, narrow that down so you can do, like, 40 hours. And that's a whole campaign. A mere it is 40 hours, really people, that's insane. a bargain! It's well, for a board game, which is $80, like, how much are you playing for video games? You know, you bought GTA today. Well, so I said 55 bucks a second here. It's 60 bucks a game, basically. How much, how much but outside games. of multiplayer are you getting from that, though? Oh, uh, I yeah. haven't played the well, single no, player outside one of multiplayer. I want to play with these guys. Table well, games. I will eventually play a single player when they're, like, not interested. For 100 American dollars, I have played roughly 7,000 hours of Destiny. That's embarrassing. Hey, it's not even 1,000 Hey, Tiggs, why don't you tell them on how much you actually spent? Uh, I, I spent... Um, <laughs> I got a black console instead of a white console oh, racist, boy, to one. get a, co a free copy of Destiny, and then I got a Dylan birthday present to upgrade to a copy that could possibly play DLCs. Mm. You guys brought this one? This was, this was a big what discussion you? about region law. See, Tali, what you may not know about this situation was that Tears was goes, goes to me, and he, 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 he sends me a text message and a couple of phone calls about this, and he goes, should I get an American account or an Australian account? And I go, well, what, what are you after? And he goes, well, you know, it's important for me to get cheaper games. And living in Australia, we have, of course, the tax system, which... The, and the Australia is tax, which is where companies charge you more for the same product yeah. just because you live in Australia. And so, and so you know, having a PlayStation, because I'm a PlayStation boy myself, right? Yeah, I'm not, by is... the way, was an Xbox boy. Never yeah, again will I purchase a PlayStation product. <laughs> so, he's very, very worried about the PlayStation. I'm like, you know, that, that seems like a really good idea, right? But... I understand this, and I know that the reason why he's playing this game is because he wants to play with his friends. Yeah, you know, if people are actually watching this, Tia's just lost like any fans he originally has. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, it's the linguists, they love him. The but both awesome. of these viewers, <laughs> both of these viewers were strong PlayStation fans, and they said, fuck this guy. He said anything wrong about the idea of playing on a PlayStation. I'm gonna send him rape threats. <laughs> so hashtag gamergate. Hashtag gamergate. I really feel like you should have been like 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 this. Hashtag gamergate, so then you can put it physical in physical game. And I can be like, look, it's right Ooh, here. Yeah. Sorry, click it. And it will be. <laughs> so we have the thing, and he goes, he goes, I want to play with my friends. I'm like, well, uh, how are they playing? And apparently, you can correct me if I'm wrong here. You're playing on an American server. Uh, you have an American account. I have an American account. Uh, Ethan illegal. has an Australian account. Because no. I'm not that... It's not illegal at all. It's fine. Um, 
Not that long. And that so, uh, and so I'm like, well, I honestly, you should just go with what allows you to play with friends, because that's what he wants. And so, in my mind, that meant an Australian account. So, a few months later, and a few thousand phone calls about how boring Destiny is, <laughs> yeah. um, I get him being like. The new expansion pack came out in America, and they won't let me install it because I'm in Australia. For the record, no. I paid for it. I bought it on the Amazon account. In America? The American Amazon account to go with my American PlayStation Guys, guys, account. guys, to put this into like the best context you can, he bought the American game. No, no, sorry. no, no. You bought the Australian disc. That is very true. That is American the absolutely accounts. important thing here. American, American account. account, Australian disc, American DLC. Nobody cares about the account. Like, <laughs> as it turns out, online networks, nothing gives a shit about your account. It's oh, true. what the did I say? The question here is, is whether or not your game is going to work with your, uh, like, your... DLC. Uh, DLC and shit. So, yeah. if I own, say, Saints Row 3, I can't mm. play, like, American. Destiny DLC. Yeah. Which is how, which is how the computers no, deal no, with no. it. Let's go to this. That's, that's how, how the computers days. deal with it. <laughs> Guys, uh, Saints Row 3 needs, um, needs Destiny DLC? Look, no, it doesn't. But that's how the computer's dealing with it. It's going, okay, you've got there this, is and no you're trying game to connect this. My American <laughs> account would not, let me buy, yeah. uh, would not let me buy any DLC for the Destiny game I owned, which was purchased in Australia. I will admit. However, my American account would let me buy the DLC off Amazon and insert the code. The code would not work with the Australian game because the Australian copy of Destiny and the American okay, copy this... of Destiny are completely separate I think, things. I think I can sum this up. Alright, I'm gonna ask you a question. Butt stuff, yes or no? I am not into butt stuff. No? <laughs> no, 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 just, just answer the question. Are you into butt stuff? I'm going to say yes, purely to be the other thing of what you said. Can I also stuff. say, whenever I picture you or someone mentions you, I always imagine you with a <laughs> hammer. I don't know why. why? So, I don't know. So, the <laughs> hammer, me, the into hammer into butt means stuff. that Ethan is into butt stuff. And sorry, what was that? I'm not into butt stuff. No butt stuff? Not, not into butt stuff. <laughs> if they're into butt stuff, I'm into butt stuff. Okay. I mean, I this was an I am, question. I am, I am yes for butt, butt stuff as long as it's not my butt being touched. Literally, okay, in that case, might I uh, issue an apology to literally the only girl to proposition me for butt stuff involving her butt and not my butt. Good on her! That's your but you're not Good on her for being honest. Bad on me for this... admitting that it ever happened. I have a hard time with the whole, like, homosexual relations being this idea, because... Like, okay, so a lot of information here. My partner and I, we uh, delve into the SNM community sort of uh, thing. And so there's this whole Dom and subculture in that, which, you know, to be fair, we've all seen, we've all heard of Fifty Shades of Grey. We've all heard of Fifty Shades of Grey. Might I remind you that my Facebook feed tells me consistently that the Fifty Shades of Grey concept aligns exactly 0% with the actual SNM community. Yeah, mm -hmm. but. Which is correct. You, you have an idea that there are Doms and there are subs. I should yeah. say 0.82%, but I'm going to round to continue, zero. Continue. So, yeah. Uh, and so there's this idea that I should be the dom and she should be the sub, which is how we get. Wait, based, based on your gender? No, just gender based binary. on what we're Let into. Let go. Right, just cool. based on what we're into. But I don't like that. So we, we do this uh, It's in the uh, the fetish community, it's called swapping. Um, because swinging. Sw well, no, you not mean swapping. Swinging? No, no what swinging we do is something completely different. Is, is, swapping is, I'll be dominant. Okay, shut up, let him talk. I'll be dominant. Alright, and then if she's done with me being dominant, she'll pin me and be dominant, and then we just we just oh, play okay. back and forth. Okay. So we are equals mm -hmm. in this scenario. And so that, that idea of, you know, like how we, we, we challenge each other is very, very different to this whole like where we stand on butt stuff. No, but uh, I think it doesn't that's where have we came in there. Like, it doesn't have to be a, a dom sub relationship. It just no, but, but then the, the, the homosexual community, right, has the dominant male, the top, the, the, the bottom, the top, yeah, the bottom, yeah, yeah. and that's always Picture like the catcher. confused me because it, as much as I have romantic, uh, uh, by uh, by romantic relations, I don't so have comments, bisexual relations. Leave a comment below if you're gay or lesbian. And all the no, no, just stop just, there. Just stop. Just go there. all the different. Just letters. leave a comment if you're gay or lesbian. And uh, 
And the dom subculture doesn't apply to you. That would be great to know. What, wait, does that count as asexual? So I have a very good friend who's asexual, huh? Well, then it wouldn't apply to you because you're not really bi or gay. Well, no, because I have a couple of gay friends, um, and I don't know if they have a top and a bottom. I, th I imagine they would be quite free yeah, about, about it. Would they mind it's up to the viewers Because there's got to be a top and a bottom on straight oh, couples man, as well. Just... No, see, I... <laughs> there is, and there is. In, in straight couples, Right? Sorry, I've been having sex with the same person for the last three, four years. There is a top and a bottom. Right? Okay. And there's one person who goes, you, you, you're you in a relationship. Six years. Six years. Yeah. There is a top and a bottom. Am I right? Yeah. right. Do you yeah. guys think I don't know. Simon. <laughs> Do you think that, uh, oh, Simon. that in, like, generally when you start a relationship, in my opinion, there tends to be one person who likes the other more and one person who... Oh... Is that... No. Is that... Well, there, there you go. Not a good relationship. That is... <laughs> fake crush. Yeah. That Not is a, a good terrible idea. Wait, no, 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 no. You can't... You can't... Are you talking about... You're talking about here about reaching from friends. Right? Friends yeah. that introduce us to the idea of reaching, where there's one person who... Yeah, okay, so... Okay, so let's say Tears and I were there. Well, no, in my life... Right? Tears... I, 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 I might fancy Tears more than he fancies me, and there is it's a reaching possible. element to that. <laughs> <laughs> Where there is a reaching element to that, and so even if it's subconscious, there'll be some element of us that knows that he really wants it more than I do, and so therefore there's an obvious top and bottom relationship going. Is that what you're saying? No, no. Like, what I'm saying, if this was completely, I'm completely like separate, separate to the thing. sexual comment. Okay. Basically, it was it was more of a like a lot of people see a, a normal relationship as. One person having stronger feelings than the other. Oh, you, that's what you're so like about. pants and no pants. No, no, no. Again, you're t taking it the wrong way. Dylan and Basically, I could be in a relationship. He could wear the pants, but I'm still the one that likes him more. Yeah. Or he's still the one that likes me more. We're saying the only thing here is that we are defining whether or not one person does like someone else more than the feeling. Can we can we expand this out to be? Like all relations, because I, I have a personal feeling that. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dylan and I have a relationship even though we're not bumming. Right? Wait, you wait, do not I have a relationship. Do you tell me and I have a relationship? Shut up, he doesn't know. Hashtag surprised. Oh, Look, hashtag right. color me surprised. He was asleep at the time. Hashtags are fucking stupid. <laughs> so gross. You're like, you're like, yes. <laughs> so, no, no, you're right. Okay. okay, so is that what you're suggesting? Just so no, I'm clear no, on what you, you, you've totally missed the point. Yes, I feel like I'm consistently. Okay, no, you're right. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it does what? apply to friendships. It does apply to friendships. It was basically a in my last two relationships. Yeah. Uh, either I've liked her more than she's liked me, or she's liked me more than I've liked her. And that causes drama. Yeah. And I think that that most people who have trouble holding onto a relationship have this like this determined mindset that this is how relationships work. One person likes one person more than the other. Like, obviously, you may not be able to answer oh. because you've all been in functional relationships. Well, no, that's not true. You don't know your past. <laughs> I don't know your Wait, past. you've been dating Simon, Simon for six years and no, he hasn't functional. been wearing pants the entire time? I may have missed the point of this. Can you stand up for a second? She is wearing pants. Oh, well, yes, I am wearing pants. <laughs> we're all wearing pants. We're, so <laughs> we're all wearing pants. Don't you dare take your pants off just to stand up. Yeah. <laughs> I am proudly wearing... Your Wait, is what are you doing, Dylan? Dylan? <laughs> what are those? Stand up and be wearing a skirt. Okay, I'm going to change the topic of conversation. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Ooh, is it time for my topic? Is it time for my topic? I'll, I'll give you time. All right. Uh, <laughs> this, this, t this is specifically... A question to Tali, as the only female in the room. We wanted more, but I all said yes, and then no with the last thing. No, the word butts. Which is why I'm here without a topic, by the way. What GTA was your topic? He's <laughs> lying. Not my topic, it was he, your topic. He's lying. He's here without a topic. What was your question? Not without a topic. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Okay, Tali, Dylan, go. Uh, okay, the question before you is, what accent is the most sexy. Scottish. Wow, that was... Oh, fuck <laughs> no! That's the ugliest accent I have ever heard! I know, I Irish and Scottish! At this point, that partially because I referred to it at the point that this actually gets right into it, but... You should probably... Tam McGleish is listening to this conversation going... 
Why? <laughs> I'm, with a, I'm in with a chance for that last. <laughs> Hashtag game win. Hashtag, okay. Hashtag, Hashtag game win. Hashtag Alright, so the, most of the women in Australia that I've spoken to have said that Irish is by far the sexiest accent. Yeah, Scottish. Mm. Okay. And, uh, and then American girls, it's like Australian is the sexiest accent. And no, no yeah, one. I did not understand that. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie, that is freaking awesome. Oh, yeah, no, no. Hashtag any girl who so, says that is wrong. This is a really long hashtag. America. Hashtag. Uh, America. Hey, yeah. Hey, you fucking oh, getting good, Ken? No, no, no. Hey, it's, it's, hey. It's, what? 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 You? You're what not you Australian. Going? Nah, shut up. Shut None up. None of us are Australian. Well, I'm yeah, Australian. No, nah, man. Nah, sh for a second, I just acknowledge my I'm passport. I'm only Australian here. He is actually the only Australian. That's not yeah. lying. I am the only person here who is well, Australian. I, actually, I was born in Australia. Hashtag no, has I, an Australian I, I passport. Sure you were just you definitely. I was born in Australia. <laughs> That's okay. where I got my so, passport. Okay, so, so American that. chicks are watching this and seeing us going, G'day Sherla, how are you going? You want to root behind a shed? Please um, be aware that your desire to root Dylan behind a shed is wrong. And a root, by also the way, interrupt. Sorry, oh, no, no, let's but have this. women in Australia do not respond well to that kind of vulgarity. That is only, only, it is only American women that respond positively to the suggestion of a root behind it, was it bike shed? Yes. Yeah, okay, so a root behind the bike shed. Should we have a look at the people we've alienated in this podcast? Gays, lesbians, women, women, women. who like Australians, oh, women who like Australians, Americans. Hey, 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 hey. Gamers. <laughs> no, I stand by. There are Americans and women on here who are still happy because I'm Australian, and so are you. Yeah. And the I am. And the others. Okay. Alright. Right. She's not Australian. She was born here, so was I though. I, I admit. I was. I was born here. Where are you from? Uh, when so I, my heritage. Well, no, no. What you, so you're born I don't here. Know where are you from? Well, what my heritage Australia. is England and um, Scotland. Well, oh, wait, wait, wait. When you say that, do you know. mean your parents? Or? My parents. That's this, this is the hardest thing, and you, I suppose maybe America gets this, but other countries may not. Let's just leave that. Leave that there. For a second, uh -huh. for a second. Yes, that. Yeah, at the very sorry, least. Yes. Pick it up. Of course, that. Hashtag <laughs> Tom's interrupted rant. Bring it up in the. Comments. I'm what like. I'm, I'm gonna post this. This is no. going. This is recorded. What I'd like to say is when I originally thought of this idea for a podcast, I did not consider that everyone might get as smashed as some people on the podcast are. I'm smashed. I see. I'm assuming here that it. me being smashed is equal to me being upset. Oh, is should it, we talk is, about is like alcohol? Alcoholism. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> oh, actually, no, that's a good point. You know, something that I don't really understand because I, my whole life, I've been a top shelf man. I've been, and cocktails. Like, I've always yeah. loved cocktails. Me too. And I kind of have a passion for cocktails. Like, I'm the guy who walks up to the bar and says, I'd like a slow, comfortable screw up against the wall. And the bartender says, We don't what? have the ingredients yeah. for that beverage. Well, no, it usually, it usually says, What? And I'm like, Okay, well, can you make me a screwdriver? Yeah, it might be out It's like, like it's vodka orange, right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's vodka orange. All right, so make that, and then put a shot of slow gin, or half a shot. I I find that a shot is better if you're in a tall glass because you can actually actually taste it. Uh, a shot of slow gin and a shot of Southern Comfort, and they're like, we don't have Southern Comfort, we're a classy bar. And I'm like, oh, fuck's sake! All right, I'll go somewhere else. So last night I went to this bar, mm -hmm. and I managed to get my first ever slow comfortable screw up against the wall. And the waitress was very accommodating. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, it was it was definitely one of the more enjoyable cocktails I've ever had. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, waiter. Hashtag anti-Semitism. No, wait. Homophobia. <laughs> hey, nailed that one. Yeah. yeah. Taught me something. Yes, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so you uh, there was probably a point around. to this. <laughs> point point of the matter of the point mis being missing from the point is that. I'm a top shelf man, I like cocktails, I'm a classy broad, how you doing? No, I completely right. understand. So, <laughs> so like, gentlemen, if you're interested in a slow, comfortable screw against the wall, Dylan here is a classy broad. No, Dylan, <laughs> you're completely right here. That, like, I, I, I went from being someone employed to being a university student, and so I went the same being, thing for the record. Being someone who could earn top shelf drinks to not being able to top shelf drinks. So right now I'm drinking whatever you're giving me. 
But previously, <laughs> I was a Tanqueray 10, and not just a Tanqueray man, but Tanqueray 10, which mm. is like the top shelf gin. 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 And oh. also, he drove What's a the, tank. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Pop quiz. Respect. Pop quiz. You're not allowed to answer this until they all get it wrong. Right. What's the <laughs> berry that gin is made from? Banana. Not a berry. Go Technically on. a berry. <laughs> It's yeah. not, it's a herb. Can you answer this? No, no, no it's a berry that grows on a herb. Do you, do you remember the answer? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool, I won't Google it. Can, can you at least, like, answer before me so I can at least have two I, things that aren't right? I, I believe that it would be, um, a gourd. Because that's not a berry. And I, that's the only thing I could think of. So you're trying to make it even harder for me? Yeah. This <laughs> berry, gin. Mm -hmm. Jaw berry. Uh, oh. Strawberry, can, not okay. technically a berry. It's not a strawberry. I've got that from that statement. <laughs> yes. It's also not a raspberry. You're never going to get this. not a berry. You're not going to get it. A chai berry. Blueberry? That's a oh, berry. So the correct answer I'm is... Out of the... hey, okay, so more complicated than that. Uh, technically, uh, gin is from the juniper berry. Oh, juniper However, berry. depending on what type of... That's what I'm thinking of. Gin is from bushes. Depending on what type of gin you're drinking, they often uh, flavour the gin by infusing it with other botanicals. So you're familiar with, um, oh, the blue one. What's the blue one called? The blue one? Bombay Sapphire. Bombay Sapphire, Bombay Sapphire oh. gets infused with uh, citrus fruits. Yeah. And uh, so uh, Hendrix is very, very straight, so it's just juice. Which is why I don't like, I don't like Bombay Sapphire. Uh, I, I like Gordon. Bombay. See, for me, there's a hierarchy. Uh, Bombay Sapphire is at the bottom, then Gordon's, Ooh, then Ben really? Feeder. And then, oh. um, the and next I'm one. Gin drinkers here. And then you've been like, Tanqueray. Totally, totally, totally stern. Tanqueray is, is at the top. I, I haven't tried Tanqueray ten, but then like, if we went into something Wait, else, you forgot Hendrix. Oh, Hendrix. Hendrix is, discard, discard his opinions, people. Hendrix is just above uh, beef eater. <coughs> yeah. So it'll go. Gord beef it'll beef. go. Bombay Sapphire at the very bottom. Then Gordon's. Then. Uh, beef eater, then Hendrix, then Tanqueray, mm. and then the I do agree that Tanqueray is at like the top, but I think Gordon's is below Bombay. Yeah. we have some controversy <laughs> in this set here. Flip the table. <laughs> Fight. That's that's a good point. Everybody lift your cups. I no, 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 no. Wait, no. we we actually had a really interesting time where uh, one of the beautiful things about uh, gin opposed to vodka, whereas vodka is quite a uh, um, a, a strong spirit, very ethanol based. Love it. You can actually put teas and other uh, things and infuse your own gins. You know, you, you're probably familiar with the whole like put Skittles in vodka and it becomes Skittle vodka. Yeah. So Skittle you can brown. do that. You can do that much better with gin because the juniper berries isn't such a strong flavour. So if you get something like the uh, the Gordons or the Beef Feeder, which are much simpler but um, they're top end uh, infusions. Oh goodness me! This. No, yeah, well, that's the, 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 sorry. I like. I know too much about this. <laughs> no, well, that's good. All right. So, brain was, exploding right now. There was another conversation <laughs> we had last night about scotch because yes. uh, actually, sorry, not last night, but before because my scotch I went out with a friend scotch. and a couple of dates and we were talking about scotch and I'm like, they instantly started talking about Johnny Walker, and I'm like, okay. Fine. Johnny Walker Red is the standard, you get it at the bar every time. Johnny Black is the next level up. Johnny Green is a high, from my understanding, a higher level blend where you, where you actually have more malts blended into the same uh, whiskey from different regions. Yes. And then Johnny Walker Blue Label is the top quality malts from a couple of regions. Was quality the word in quotation marks there? <laughs> top do you quality guys, malt? Do you yeah. guys realize how you get these different qualities? Do you guys know that, that like when you have the uh, you shouldn't spend more time the on it, which wise Well, no, no. Okay, that. so when you when you uh, take alcohol, because well, right? alcohol effectively is just ethanol. When you yeah. take what alcohol, about? the thing that yeah. what, what's getting me drunk out of this wine is the, is the the yeast creating ethanols, mm -hmm. right? Um, the same with the cider is the the ethanols created by the yeast in the apples. So this isn't even cider anymore. Not really. <laughs> so, 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 and, and so no, okay, so with that, they have a distil distillation. Oh, wait, wait, process. let me, before so we start, before we continue this, let me clarify something to every person on earth because they don't seem to fucking understand. Touche. Whiskey is the same drink. Scotch whiskey you, is made in Scotland. That's why it's called Scotch whiskey. 
It's Scotch. Scotch. From Scotland. Scotch. You can't have American Scotch whiskey. Because it's from Scotland. I always figured that American but, Scotch whiskey. But was Scottish vodka is technically Scotch. You can have it's behind the camera. <laughs> you can have American whiskey, you can have Australian whiskey, you can have bourbon whiskey, which is specifically made from Kentucky mash. Mm. Uh, you can have Tennessee whiskey. No, between me saying I don't have a topic, I can't think of anything, and you then saying Grand Theft Auto 5, I was like, I could talk about Australian wildlife. That's fucked up. <laughs> Shit will kill you. Cheers, uh, <laughs> what's your topic? My topic is the word transvestite. Transvestite? What does that okay, mean? Exactly. Let, let him. He has, he has a story here. Yeah. Uh, he may not include specific names or relations. I will start with the core detail. Trans across. From one point to another. Vest, meaning vest. Cool. Clothing, an article of cloth that you put on your body. Okay, this is long winded. Tell us a story. And I. Nismanshinmanship is a Marie. Now, um, I had an argument today with my sibling about the concept of the word transvestite. This is not about... Well, tell us the story from the start. How did it go down? No. Okay. My family was discussing Eddie Izzard. Eddie Izzard, one of my family's favourite comedians. Yeah, Eddie Izzard, you're welcome for me mentioning that on camera. Now, um, we first mentioned him as a transvestite, referring Eddie Izzard's own description of oneself, himself, as an executive transvestite. Now, my, my sibling re reacted to this in the, the use of the word transvestite being unacceptable. So, uh, first of all, my sister and I refer to the fact that Eddie Izzard has used the phrase executive transvestite to, descri to describe Eddie Izzard's self, his self. But for some reason, my use of pronouns is restricted. Now, you don't need to go into so much detail. I mean, you don't need to go into so it doesn't have to so, be proper. So, my sibling suggests the word transsexual. My sister and I refer to the fact that Eddie Izzard's sexuality is not called into question here. Um, and, and the fact that, that heterosexuality is mentioned by Eddie Izzard and that this is really not in question. Next, transgendered is suggested by said sibling. My sister and I immediately refer to the fact that gender is not at question here in the use of the word transvestite. So, my sibling grasps at a final straw, tra uh, not even a trans word, cross-dressing. Now I try to point out here that cross-dressing is, is, is a word that refers to a man attempting to dress as a woman. This calls about the argument of that assumes a gender binary, blah blah blah, there is no gender binary. Didn't I try to refer to the fact that Western cultures are fairly recent at discussing the idea of a gender binary, but your suggested word of crossdresser implies the gender binary more so than any previous discussion. Then the conversation moves on to the idea that the gender binary is not okay and is a purely Western construct, upon which point I quite rightly, refer to the idea that the idea of Western gender binary being new um, so much as the only idea of discussion of a gender binary, all other cultures refer to simply men and women. Yes, I feel I speak for all of us this when I say... Was... Yeah, this story was, a... It was no. a lot more interesting when he told us earlier. Uh, <laughs> point here uh, is that would like to white, uh, <laughs> black and white out and cut through... Fuzz. <laughs> anyway, the point of the matter is... I that tears. Uh, I, no, I, all the I way followed, I listened, but I, when you got to the point where she mentioned cross-dressing, I was like, at the start, did you not point say is, that, Did you not say that trans means across? Trans means across. means, like, literally a fucking vest. No, no, you yeah. Dressing. Clothing. Okay, okay so clothing, 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 that's fine. And then it meaning, you know, like, to be doing of, like, ishness thing. When chip is a <laughs> Yeah. So we need to quote that to be doing of ishness thing <laughs> equals it. And uh, so so transvestite so means cross-dressingness. Cross-dressingness, yeah. yeah, well, except problem. not with direct opposites. Yeah. So the point of the matter was he said cross-dressing was not applicable because he wasn't trying to dress as a woman, he was just dressing as a man not in applicable. women's clothing. Transgendered, not applicable. Cross-dressing. This not is a new thing. Stuff. 
on New Year's, right, I was at a lovely girl's house who happened to be the same build as I am, right, not quite as broad as the Crystal Swords, but still, as tall as I was. So I was able to fit into her dresses, right, and I was like, I get to be a beautiful lady, which I was very excited about, until I put the dress on, looked at myself in the mirror, it was this halternet dress, it was black halternet, and then it had like a, a print on it, and it was quite uh, fluffy on the bottom, it had like a, a built-in... A built-in, what do they call that thing that foofs? If you guys didn't catch that, Foof. that one was foofy. Like a tutu thing, yes. Like yeah. a thank, thank you, Charlie. <laughs> a foofy tutu. Obviously, you don't know what that is either. No, but, no, no, uh, pinnacle. Oh, so, yes. Okay. And, and I'm looking at myself in the mirror, and I'm like, I just look more manly. It was weird for me, because because it was a halter neck, it made my shoulders look more broad. But it made my you... muscles on my shoulders okay. the more point. masculine. I look, I look more, more manly, manly in a halter neck, because I have very broad shoulders for a lady. I need to see you. Really? I know. I need to see your shoulders. Yeah. I just, but like, yeah. I, I, I just can't wear, a dress. wear anything that is like... Wait, it's just oh, a yeah. flowing dress. One that when you stand up and twirl around, it goes out. That was what this dress was. Yeah. yeah, yeah and so I thought cool. I would look like the prettiest princess, which... Sorry, I have always wanted to be the prettiest princess. Yeah, don't blame yeah. me. That Who wants to be just cool. any princess? You want to be the prettiest. I'm princess. learning so a lot about upset. everyone here. I was upset that I, I did not look like a pretty princess. I did not look like Disney princesses. I like, you know when girls are like, oh, I, the media judges me. I looked at myself in the mirror and I saw myself in a dress and I'm like, I'm, I'm not the pretty me. girl I wanted to be. And okay, so getting back yourself. to the topic of conversation. <laughs> Your purpose for putting on the dress was to look like a woman. I wanted to look like a pretty girl. So not just a girl. Originally, pretty pretty girl. Girl. originally Eddie is us not saying that he's dressing up to look like a woman. He is simply a man dressing in women's clothing. Uh, so if oh. if that cross dressing doesn't apply, the only word that we could possibly use in the English language because all that we have is transvestite. But from the, t the story that Tia said earlier, his sibling said uh. no. That's their word! Dylan, my problem here is that... Okay, so we're going to sort the genders here. Because it should work the other way around. Right? Let's say... Is good. Let's say, right, that uh, Tia's brother, I mean sibling, right, wanted yeah. to dress as a man. Right? And they, they are, they are, they have all the bits to be a woman, but they are, uh, they, they want to be seen as a man. So they dress in, like, what do, what do men wear? But that would, men still, wear. that would still be cross They say t-shirts, jeans. Yeah. But they don't have many yeah. options, Suit, really. Wipe <laughs> Suit, wipey. No, and there's a the problem is that so many so male many. options have been co-opted into the gender, uh, non-gender binary. So like they've been co-opted across. Like you could wear my shirt and not be seen as wearing it. It'd actually slowly. be pretty cool because it's yeah. really in right now. Yeah, it'd, look, it'd probably look yeah. good here. Yeah. Whereas, whereas if I wear if I wear a halt halt neck top. I look like a really manly man. I mean, okay. manly so, woman. That, that being said, manly we're manly probably going to get back onto manly topic now. So mm -hmm. I'm going to cut this video and... Uh, Editing! Yay! Stop. So, we're running out of tape. I don't know if we can actually record anymore, so what I'm going to do is end the podcast there. Is this literally um, recording now? Yeah. Sweet! So, thanks for watching. If you did watch, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you did dislike it, but make sure you tell us exactly why you disliked it. In the comments below. In the comments. Don't just be a jerk, man. Don't yeah, I mean, if you yeah. like it, that's fine. You don't have to tell us why you like it, but if you dislike it, like, give a reason. We so can replace what this the you can, Oh my god, don't say that out loud. Oh, <laughs> uh, next time we have a podcast, we may limit Tears to drinking wine or something. A little bit that's not going to get him drunk and make him talk over everybody. Yeah, so uh, he's, he's probably going to come out of the bathroom now just to say goodbye. But, uh, but anyway, thanks for watching the podcast. This is the first one we've ever done. I really hope we can get another one done next week. Uh, we may not have the same people, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all. And thanks and good night. Also, Everyone say goodbye. TS will be here next week. I'm Dylan Mitchell. Have a good night. <laughs> and to all of those who aren't actually in, you know, like our time zone, whenever this happens, it might not be good night. Good morning to you guys. Aww. And good all time zone. over there. Consider it. Goodbye. Time space. Consider it. I so I just said my name, T.S. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm T.S. Allard. Holy shit, actually I am Ethan Bosch. That is true. I'm Tali Hyatt, good night. And I am Thomas Stewart. No, just... just... Don't. Cut it, just cut it, cut it. <laughs> just cut it and that's... <laughs> yes.